Good morning artists. This morning we are going to be working on a Mother's Day portrait that you can give as a gift to your mom on Mother's Day next Sunday. Um, fifth and sixth grade, I sent you directions through email so you kind of have the step-by-step -step process. Fourth grade we just finished, so this is really a review for everyone. If you want to just see me do it once before we get started on it. Um, make sure you have your mom's picture nearby, a photograph. That will help you with hairstyle, eyebrows, any jewelry you want to add, anything you want to do with the neckline. Jewelry, her blouse, whatever you're going to add. Okay, so you can see I put the outline of a piece of paper. I would use a full sheet, I think it's 9.5 by 11, paper to do your artwork on. And the thicker the paper, the better. Okay, I'm going to leave it up to you on how you uh, color it. It could be crayon marker, paint, whatever you have at home, I would suggest that would be your best choice. Okay, so to start this, remember the first thing I always do is I make the cross in the middle. Now remember, I'm going to do it darker because I want you to be able to see it, but later we will be erasing, so draw it lightly when you do it on your own paper. I'm going to leave a little room at the top, a little room at the bottom, and a little room on each end. Okay. And then remember, when we do the cross, now we're going to connect it top to middle to bottom, or excuse me, middle to top, then bring it down, bring it down. That's going to be your face outline. Okay, remember the eyes on your head at the top are halfway down, and so I'm going to draw that arch, kind of like a banana curve on the top, and then I draw the bottom that's kind of a curve or a smile face, and we have the shape of the eye. If you have a round eye, that's wrong. Look in the mirror, look at your photograph of your mother. Eyes are not round, they are more of this almond shape. To do the iris, the iris is the colored part of the eye, we're going to go top to bottom, curve it around, top to bottom, top to bottom, curve it around, top to bottom. This is the area that we will color in later. And then in the center of that, you're going to have your pupil. And there's your eye shape. Now between the eyes and the chin, we have the nose. I would make a little line to start yourself. And remember the nose is a curve up like a little smile face with a parenthesis on each side. Between the nose and the chin, we have the mouth. I always make a line to get myself started. Then you can extend the line however long you want the mouth to be. The bottom is a curve around like a little smile face, but since this is our mom, we're going to do lips. So I put a little dot in the middle where that line comes straight down. I go up and out, up and out. And there you have your lips. To do the neck, remember, we don't draw two straight lines. We want a nice curve to her neck. So I start at the cheek and I bring it around. I start at this side of the cheek and I bring it around, okay? You can bring this down as far as you want and add your shoulders. Actually, now that I'm doing this, I'm going to bring it a little skinnier and then I'm going to curve it down. We're going to draw the ears because some moms have short haircuts and it's always good to know where to put the ears. We start on this line here so that it matches up with the frame of the glasses to rest on the ear. So you just bring it up and around, over and around, just like that. Okay, we're going to do the eyebrows next. Remember, imagine a little imaginary line here and that's how you know where to start it. So you're going to start here, curve it out, here curve it out. Go all the way out to the end shape of the eye. Okay, now we always talk about the hair. We have to make a mark where the hairline starts. So I always say start here, come down a little bit, curve it down to the ear, curve it down to the ear, a little smoother. Now, if it was me, then I would start to sharpie the eyes, the nose, mouth, the chin, the shoulders. You're going to have to erase your cross with your eraser so you don't have those lines anymore. And then this is when you can come in when you're sharpening it and add your eyelashes, things like that. Okay? Remember, this is like you have to decide that line might won't be there anymore. You've erased that too. So if you're going to have a part, you can decide the, does your mom part her hair in the middle or to the side. So if it's the side, that's going to be where you start the hair always, the hair, okay? And you just go from there according to your picture. Remember, 
sharpie your outlines, sharpie your face, then come in and you can start painting, coloring, marker, color pencil, or you can even do a combination of them. However you want to do it is up to you. All right, good luck. Enjoy and tell your mom happy Mother's Day. Goodbye.